Hey guys, so I am going to sublimate on one of these UV glow in the dark tumblers. Um, I've done the glow in the dark ones. I'm going to see if these UV ones are the same. These have like a shimmery almost look to the coating. So I am going to put it out in the sun and I'm going to charge it for a while. So you can see it's going white and I'm going to move it out to the sun. I'm walking out the back and you can see here that it's changing to pink and where my hand is you can see it's the white so um, I got a design it was a free design from um, a designer and I follow her Facebook page so I will post that link and everything up it's really pretty it has a whole bunch of roses and stuff on it so I thought this would be a good option for it the roses are black so the pink will show through on anything um, that would be white so I am going to let this charge outside for a little while. If you have a black light or anything like that, you can do that. You can put it underneath um, unnatural light, too. If you have a regular light or something, a dust light or something, you can put it underneath that. So I'm just going to sit it in the sun for a little bit, let it charge, and then we're going to go ahead and give it a try. All right, so I just set this out really quick um, to do some charge on it. You can charge it more later. I didn't put it out that long. I just had it out. Um, long enough to um, print the image. So this would be, it's literally just gray, black, and white. So the anything that's white, obviously the pink will show through drastically when it changes and then it'll glow through this. So this image, um, I will put the link on where I got that. So what I did is I measured my tumbler. So I went ahead and put these at 9.30 wide. Um, because it's not quite to the, you can see how it's not quite to the edge. So it'll overlap probably a little bit more than normal. And I measured this at about eight inches tall. So typically I do 9.25 by eight, but it looks like this tumbler is a tiny bit smaller. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and I'm going to clean this and take this like I do with all of my other tumblers. So I use alcohol that I have on a coffee filter to ensure that there's no light. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good wipe and I'm gonna start taping that up so we can get this on. Okay, so I removed the little silver thing on the bottom so most of your tumblers will have that and I flipped this upside down because I want this all the way to the bottom. So you can see here obviously it's a little bit over even at the eight inches which is what I measured it. So I printed this on my ET15000. I'm going to make my image a little bit shorter. So, or widthwise, I'm going to make it a little bit shorter. There's too much of an overlap. I try to keep my overlap at about a sixteenth of an inch. I don't like going too much over that. So, this one, it looks like it's got a lot of white on this side. So, I'm going to take it off on this side. So, I'm just going to take off just a tad bit, probably about a sixteenth of an inch. Um, so I don't have too much of an overlap. I use a rotary cutter and a metal edge ruler. And I'm going to go ahead and this should curl under, hopefully without giving any kind of, um, puckers or anything like that. So I'm going to put this right down to the bottom because I want the image right to the top. So like I said, this was done on my ET15000. I run Hippo Brand Ink on both. This is on Koala Paper. Typically when I do my tumblers, I do I do them on my 2720 and on a sub paper. I got Hippo Paper. I'm going to try that since I run Hippo Brand Ink. So basically what I do is just put the one mark on there and then I'm going to do the top and the bottom and then I tape the rest of this all the way down. If you look at any of my other videos, there I tape it the same every single time. So I'm just going to go ahead and wrap the top and the bottom and then do the side and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So you can see here my top is done. So if you see any little puckers, I try to work them with my nails so it goes flat against it and then I curl my tape over the edges of it. I also use shrink wrap. I probably use more tape than most people, but for me it works. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tape the bottom the exact same way. Okay, as you can see my bottom is taped. I basically do two pieces on the top and on the bottom. 
pretty much all the way around. I overlap my tape. I use the brown tape from Amazon. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tape down here. So I've seen a lot of people where they go straight down with one piece of tape. For me, um, this seems to work the best. So basically I just pull it tight and I go down the entire seam like this. And then I use shrink wrap on it. So the shrink wrap I got um, on this one, it actually came with some shrink wrap when I ordered these from AJ Blanks. I will put her link down, but I believe she has sold out of the UV glow in the dark tumblers. Um, I also get my door hangers from her. They are 12 inch sublimation door hangers and they are absolutely amazing. So I will put that down. So be sure to put the links down, like I said, for where I got the file and where I get the blanks for these. So I just try to make sure that I go tight. This koala paper, I believe is 120. And I try to go with 120 or an Echo brand on the tumblers, just so it's easier to wrap them. The 125 seems a little stiff, so it doesn't seem to wrap as well. So I take my nail and just run it down my seam to try to make sure that I don't have any air bubbles or anything like that. So I'm on the bottom, I'm on the top, and all the way down the seam. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my shrink wrap and I am going to wrap this and then I will show you. Um, I either use a mug press, a standard 11 ounce mug press for my tumblers, or I use an air fryer. I've switched almost exclusively to an air fryer. It just seems so fast for me and I can press shirts um, at the same time that I'm doing it. Um, I do three minutes for each side when I do it in the air fryer. It just, for me, like I said, it goes so much faster and I have my other press on so I can do that at the same time. So I'm gonna wrap this in shrink wrap and I will show you how I load this in my air fryer. Okay, so I've completely wrapped the tumbler. I use a Wagner heat gun that I've had for a really long time. I moved my air fryer outside only because I have multiple to do today and I don't want the smell in my basement. So I set a timer with Alexa for the three minutes and then I switch it. So I also, you can see here that I have silicone bumpers. So basically they're the same. I put this on here because I took the grid out. So this is a silicone trivet. So I put these on the ends of my tumblers just to try to keep my tops and my bottom tight so it's it, it's the same as the silicone bracelets that everybody uses but I put the um, bumpers on all of my water bottles and stuff when I do those especially since most of my water bottles go to kids and um, the bumpers help protect them when they drop them so I put them on there when I put them in the shrink in the excuse me, in the air fryer, just to try to keep any of the air gaps or anything like that from getting in. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. I just crank my timer over. This one's not a digital. I have this set on 360. I'm gonna try it the exact same way that I do all my other tumblers. Um, and then I can modify it from there if it burns or anything like this. And we'll see how it goes. But I do three minutes. Um, how I tell the difference is I put tape side up first and then I flip it and go this way. So I'm gonna do the three minutes on this side and we're gonna see how it works. Okay, so we are gonna put this. So we're gonna flip this and turn this around the other direction. And we're gonna put it in for another three minutes. Alexa, three minutes. Okay, so we are done. Like I said, I set the timer with Alexa only because um, it's a little more accurate, I think, than this non-digital one. So I took this out. I can see some of the image over there. We'll see if we burn this or not. It'll show really quickly um, once we start to take the stuff away. I don't see any of the blowout here on this side. And then I just take these silicone stoppers out. And I'm going to go ahead and let this cool just a tad. And then I'm going to go ahead and remove the shrink wrap. All right, so I let this cool for about a minute. Um, I've seen them where they just dip it in cold water to cool. Um, that didn't make any difference for me. It doesn't seem to make the images any brighter. So I try to do this while they're still warm so the shrink wrap comes off really easy. 
So I'm going to go ahead and unwrap this whole thing and we'll see what it looks like. All right, so I have all the shrink wrap off. Moment of truth, you guys are going to see it the same time as me. Okay, so here is the tumbler. So this is what it looks like. And like I said, it has like a shimmery um, design to it when it's plain like this. I'm going to give it a quick wipe really um, with just a damp cloth just to make sure I don't have any paper residue. And then we're going to walk this outside and I'm going to show you what it looks like. So we are going to walk this into the light and see how she comes out. Oh, look at how pretty she is. So there you go. You can see. It's changing with the light. So the pink is everywhere there would have been white. So it's super, 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 super pretty. I will also, you can see it kind of shimmer. Obviously the longer it sits out in the sun, the um, darker red it's gonna get. You can see where my hands are, where it's changing colors on that one. But this is what it looks like. Sorry, I'm trying to get a good picture without it messing up. But So this is what it looks like. This is on the UV Glow in the Dark Color Change Tumbler. And I will take it upstairs into the dark and we will see what she looks like in dark. Okay, so, <coughs> pardon me. <clears throat> this is what she looks like. Glow in the Dark. This would be really cool with skulls, but I do love the roses. So um, I didn't charge her very long, but this is what it looks like, and it looks fabulous. So you can see the glow in the dark, and you can make out the roses and everything else. So I'll put the link in there, guys. I use the same time and temperature as I normally do. Um, I was off when I turned it, so there's one little spot that I can see um, is a little brown on the... Um, but you can only see it when obviously you're not in the dark but it's only one little spot but I don't think it's bad but that was just me probably not being centered where I need to do when I turn it so that's what it looks like hope that helps everybody bye guys